Hey together, Aaron the Black Dragons back and welcome all of you to Monday Madness's Game Dev Tycoon. I should click somewhere so that we don't lose time in game. So, we have a team of three people, including myself, and we have five research points. So we actually cannot do so much. But yeah, in the last episode, we upgraded to a new office. We have a new fancy office, all and everything, flashy boom. And we have two employers, employees now. We only have one employer, and that is me. And with them, there is a new thing. There's a new thing that's gonna come because they have energy bars right here. And when they run dry, we have to send them on vacation. Otherwise, they don't perform as well as they should should perform. But whatever. Let's get into the game and develop a new game. Um, we have enough people to probably also make a medium sized game now, so let's jump into that. Well, we don't have a techie for that. Yeah, whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna make this somehow. Yes, let's use our pretty engine called the Tingy Lingy. And let's make an adventure game for mature players. Sure, why not? And adventure was a great combination with medieval. And I think post apocalyptic as well. No, that's just an okay combo. Dang it. Medieval is also for everybody good. Rhythm hacking. Hacking is and mature seems to be something good. So let's see. How can we call this game? Cyber hack. So, not implementing anything with that. 2D graphics, since we still don't have any 3D graphics. Let's do this. We're not getting a good start right off the bat, but whatever. We now can assign people to different things as well with that. So, let's do that. Um, story and quest is very important. And story and quest goes towards design, so that's going to be me. Gameplay is, I think, also design. You do that and the engine goes to the techie. Let's do this. I believe in you guys. Also, you're gonna perform poorly in a second here because you run low on energy. So we have to send him on vacation after we're done with this game. But I need him right now. So, adventure game needs... I think actually all I have here is really good. Level design is... Oh, but I'm really high with that. Let's make it like this. And AI is tacky. Ooh, I don't have enough people to make this game really perfect right now, but... We're gonna create a bomb right here. A bomb that's gonna explode in our, into our face and kill us as all. Ah. One of us is going to get overworked. World design, you. Graphics, me. Sound, you. Our techie doesn't do so much because we didn't make a game that really d needs a techie. And he's not really a... Well, he has 400 in technological. So he's our techie. But we made better games. That is actually a really bad game. Well, well, we got a, we got good research points out of that, so get something at least. Let's release the game and let's send you on vacation. You still look good. You look good. Let's generate a game report for cyber hacks. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, there are ones and twos in there. A 5, not so terrible just yet. A 6, quirky but good, thank you. Another 5, that was a close one. And another 5, fun at stages. Okay, not a complete crap shot, but also not, not very good. Let's set you up and... Because they are also a person who is all around good. 
Let's make game dev. Dev champs so that you learn a little bit all around. Uh, can we be done with the game re report? Yes, and what did we find out about that? Hacking and adventure is okay combination. But I actually didn't know what I was thinking about that. And gambling not important for that. We should try to focus our entire team on developing a game. Yes, we should, but that is something we did not do. Um, we could research 2D graphics again. But I don't care. Let's research detective. Today in Inventor announced the much ante anticipated successor to the popular, popular test console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with state of the art 16 bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super Test. The S and yes, actually, but this is the STS. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. Oh, I remember playing on the NES myself. Those were the days back then. Uh, you're not doing anything, my friend, so why don't you... Research dungeon. Of course. And you can train in the meantime, because I need you to be better at researching. And I need you to be uh, better at whatever you do. Actually, that helped you. Technology, technology design. That is actually something I'm gonna give you again, because that really seems to help you. Because my guy is going to be the researcher. I'm gonna stick with the 300 on my guy and only focus on researching. You're gonna get a little bit of training as well. You're my techie, so... Coding complete. I didn't need you so much this time, so we're gonna try to do something that will challenge you a bit more. Um, Dino Wati. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Endless Space have created a fan game using a lot of the material from our game. They don't make any money with it and just seem to do it for fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly suggested we shouldn't allow this to go on. What do you want to do? Let them be, I don't care about that. I like fan games. And I know that legal advisors and so, I, I think there is a lot of reasoning behind that, but it's a game so I don't care. And the super test is now released, so... And we're gonna wait until he is done with his training. Oh, hi, I'm Dennis Reed, the main developer of the Endless Space fan game. I've recently been informed that you'll Le that your legal department has advised you to stop us and I just wanted to say that I'm very grateful that you didn't. Thingamabob... <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot that it was called that way. Thingamabob is the best company in the world and I'm glad I can be part of the fan community. And we've gained 43 fans. Uh, I feel the aftermath of yesterday, so... Um, let's develop a game, not a medium sized game, because they're gonna be another crapshoot. So let's just make a small game again. A startup game for the test, why not? Test, let's make a... Uh, what would be good on the test? An RPG? Uh, let's make something casual first for the test. Uh, a detect well, that would be more simulation, and simulations don't do good with that, actually. Ah, uh, casual, casual, I don't really have much for casual. A racing game seems to be casual enough. I don't know if the test is good for that, so let's find that out. And... We're gonna go with the name of the console and call it Super Test Racing. Uh, have everything, good, let's go. 2D graphics, because I want to have 3D graphics. Can I have them soon? We don't need that. It's a casual game, so we don't need that at all. And engine also very unimportant for that. Cyberx is now off the market. It's sold poorly and generated mediocre amounts. We actually have 2 million, so 400,000 is not really much. 
A casual game needs level design but no dialogue really and no AI whatsoever, I think. Oh, I'm doing really poorly today. All around. Um, we need... For casual, I think the... Well, design and nothing else. Oh my god, I don't know. I don't know, I'm just gonna go with that because I'm unsure right now. I'm really unsure, but we're done with that and actually we made a great game apparently for the test. And something else. Thank you very much, Jackie. Very much. Oh yeah, new records all around. And we got level ups on gameplay and level design. Nice! Character progression, yes please. You, wait, no, that is something one of you is gonna do. Character, oh, I need 40 research points for that. Uh, first reviews came in. Let's see. Oh my god. Apparently I did wrong on some stage because the game actually for us was really good to develop, but it is just as good as the last game that we made. Hell. Generate game report. Let's do this. And... Come on. We need one more research point. Thank you very much. Research. Character progression. Let's go. We need stuff to make a better game engine. Ah, the media is a buzz with the latest news from the Years Entertainment Conference. In a surprising announcement, Vony, a company known for general and electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Apparently, Vony has collaborated with Nimbento, create, Nimbento, creator of the beloved and successful test and super test consoles, to develop what is basically a super test with a CD drive. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. And journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Vony and Nemento jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Nemento announced today that they will cancel their project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it that the distri distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavorable to Nemento handing over much of the control to Vony. This seems to be the end of the play system. And now there are post analysis. Racing and casual, great combination. AI seems to be not at all important. That is something I knew. I didn't have any AI at this. But yeah, there was not that thing with uh, Sony and Nintendo of Vony and Invento and things are gonna go awry now because with that happening in two months the test will be taken off the market. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. And he's back. Good. Let's make some contract work. work. Uh, that's no problem for our three dudes. So there's going to be a lot going on now in a few days. Oh. In game years, well, whatever. It's gonna go uh, wild. Wow, can we do that? 62 seems to be a lot. Let's do the smaller ones first. I'm not feeling too sure if we can do that. We also don't have much money anymore. We're losing money by the minute. Um, super test racing of the market. That we have bad numbers in sale right now. Let's. No, not research. What the hell? There we are. Let's make more contract work. Let's do that, that should work. Yes, it is good. I know you're not a techie, so you can't do anything about that. No, Tess is no longer supported. I made three games for it. And they transfer stuff. Let's develop a new game because we don't make enough money with just that. Tingilingi because... Can I please select it? I have problems with that all the time. Let's make something just to generate a little bit of game. It's going to be a detective 
simulation that is for everybody and it's gonna be called uh, Detective Gun Shoes. That's that's all. Let's do that. Um, simulation needs gameplay, and I think actually a little bit of story and quest engines are not so important for simulations. Let's go. Ah. Uh, I feel like I forgot everything about the game. Simulation needs level design and a little bit of AI. I think I'm so unsure right now. But we need to make a good game again. We had two crap shoots right after another. Vault design, not at all. Graphics and sound. I don't know which one needs to be higher. I think sound actually needs to be higher, so let's do that. We got we get good research points out of that. Get rid of the bugs, please. Please, one bug left. Let's do this. Not as great for us. The racing game was better for us, but whatever. 2D graphics went up and I also went up in the level. Good, you my friend can start Research on marketing. Oh, I don't have the points for that. Okay, the first reviews came in. Are they still horrible? They're even worse. My god. Okay. So it's a 5 overall. God damn it, why can't I make game today? Come on, we need some research points so that we can get marketing off the list finally. Yes, got it. Uh, detective and simulation is okay. Sound seems to be quite important. Yes, I knew that I took the right one. Let's research marketing. And we now have zero research points. No, not fire. Come on. Once you're done, we're gonna make another game. You know what? We're gonna make. We're gonna search for someone with a show reel experience so that we get a real good design in as well. No? Marketing can now be done. And you go on vacation in the meantime so that we can make a great A game! Okay, what do you want? This is a very special offer. Your agents have recently managed to gain access to some critical system of one of your competitors. If you want to play war games, then transfer 54,000 to the enclosed location and will initially sabotage. Initiate sabotage. Agent Bluefish. Decline! No, we're not gonna do that. Bill J. Allen takes 70k per month. He is very good at design. Let's take a look. You're not so good. You have 400 Charden Morton. You take more for it as well, but you're hired, my friend. Welcome. Uh, let's train you. Welcome. Staff welcoming. Welcoming. You also need to be sent on vacation. Is that what I see? No. I can't send myself on vacation. So. But we're all looking good. It's off the market. We have problems right now. So, my friends, we're gonna make a game now. A great A fucking game. It's gonna be with our own engine. It's gonna be medium. It's gonna be for the. I thought we make a, made a game for the super test. Oh, yeah, we made one. Super test. It's gonna be an action game. It's gonna be an... Ooh, wait, we're gonna make a dungeon RPG. And we're gonna call it... If I can ever pick that. Underdong. Underdong. That's good, that works. Let's go! 2D graphics. 
Everybody, show us your might. We have enough people now to make a good game. So, RPG. Um, needs story and quest very much. Gameplay can go down. Gameplay is you. Story and quest, I think, also goes towards design. And engine is you, my friend. So, let's do this. Go! We can, we can make at least one good game and after that once we have the results of that game we're gonna leave this episode so then we need um, level design very important dialogue I think is a bit more important than level design a I can go home and kiss a tree so level design dialogue goes towards you level design level design is something I'm gonna give to you and AI is you, because you're the techie here. And you have the least thing to do because we don't make games that really need technology so much. So, you can do that. Ah, yeah, but we're looking good. Well, design, go up there, sound goes down, graphics is... What does... I think it's supposed to be like that in an RPG. So, level design, you go on there, graphics. Is something I'm gonna do. Sound goes probably to tech, so let's do that. We need one good game. We are under a million right now, guys. We need the months. But we have good research points. Oh yeah. Ten bucks only. We made a great game there without with only ten bucks. And zero bucks now. New records all around. Yes, so many level ups as well. Oh yeah, let's release that. Increasing the experience, following stuff, earn the race. James E. Garmack and Dino Weddy. You deserved it. Branching story, branching story, dialogue tree, day and night cycle and stereo, stereo sound. Yes, we got the things that I wanted to have so badly. But we're gonna research them in the next episode. Let's see how the release for Underdong do look. A masterpiece? They achieved a great balance between technology and design. RPG games works well on the super test. And dungeon and RPG is a great combination. Thank you. We're gonna make a game report so that I don't forget about that. Ooh yeah, we made a good game. Uh, dear Thingamabob, we have followed your progress in recent years and would like to extend this formal invention uh, to particular participate in the biggest game convention on the planet. Games, 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 also known as G3. Haha. Uh -huh. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games. And we think our audience would love to see you there. We will contact you yearly with both with booth options. Hope to see you at G3, the G3 committee. Yes! The G3 is now a thing as well. Ooh, now the game starts kicking off. They, they bring so many new things in. New, uh... But I like them. It's great to see that. Okay, dungeon RPG, great combination. World design is very important. I did that. And platform match, super test, and RPG, good. And we have some additional inside share. Jared Morton is still new to the team, a few more games and the team will have higher potential. I know Jaden, that is why we started off with a great A game. So that I have enough to bolster his ego to show that he is good in this team. So we're gonna stop this whole thing here so that nothing runs away. But yeah, we made one good game there, that is fantastic. We went so far down with our money and we had 2 million right now again. And that's perfect. Oh god, I really was worried that I'm gonna do some shit right here at this episode, but... Saved it, apparently. But whatever, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment down below. A like down below. And I'll ask for likes. Please just comment. You can leave a like. I don't tell you to not like, but I would like to comment more. Yikes! And I hope to see all of you... To the next part of Monday Madness's Game Dev Tycoon. So bye!